a lot of things I paint are really like dreamy and just kind of pretty. And I remember in high school, I had a class, we had to make a lot of art pieces in uh, different ways and I kept just gravitating towards like flowers and scenes and like pretty stuff. And my, I had a teacher literally say to me, <laughs> she was like, stop just painting fluffy stuff, like find your inner psychopath, like do something like edgy. I still paint fluffy stuff and I really like it. I don't try to make my art just like fluffy and like the world is fine. Um, Cause I have like experienced like hard things and stuff and that's, that's kind of the way I get through it is like, I want to put good things out there. The things that your brain sees all the time, the things that you're literally making come into reality. I want that to be like something uplifting and beautiful and good and not just like edgy to like shock factor. Ideas to me are infinite and like creativity is infinite. I might not like feel that way all the time, like stuck in like a, I don't know what to paint or I don't know how like progress on this project. But I know that like, I'm never going to, the world is never going to run out of ideas. The world's never going to run, run out of like a beautiful concept to capture. So this is my idea document. It's like, and like a phrase or a thought, an idea. So this is where I go to when I'm like starting a painting or something. I go through all my notebooks and my sketchbook and this document. I have this like idea session. And if it's an idea that I really want to do, it gets put on a post-it note in my like art space. And I actually make it. So I have a bunch of surfaces with a bunch of post-it notes on it that's like, these are the ideas. A lot of inspiration comes from things I'm thinking about. If I have a thought that is like repetitive, sometimes an image comes with it. Um, I have a lot more ideas than I have like room and time to paint, honestly. It makes me feel a lot better once I have it like written down somewhere because it's like, oh yeah, that was a good one. I like that. It gets written down. I'm now just like using people a lot more in my paintings, kind of like in a narrative way. At first, I just painted a lot of flowers and a lot of clouds, a lot of landscapes, which are good, but um, I started to have a lot more ideas where those things didn't tell the story that I needed to say, and I realized that people could kind of personify an idea for me. A mom holding a baby or a mom doing something, like, it's capturing a thought or an idea. When I became a mom, it kind of changed everything, as it does. I mean, it like changes your whole life. But art-wise, I can honestly say I've created so much more since she's been here. And for some reason, has had like so much more confidence in myself, or like maybe it's I just have more things to say now or something. My first solo art show was like a few months after she was born. And I was just like, having all this inspiration and I don't know, I think babies bring with them like so much abundance and love. They're just so like amazing. <laughs> they like just bring such goodness to the world when they come and it's like kind of overflowed on me a little bit. Since having her I felt a lot more like abundant and a lot more free in my like art making which I thought was gonna be the opposite. I was kind of like nervous about that because I was like, painting is kind of how I like cope with life. <laughs> I was like, how am I gonna like put this off to raise my family? But I, being a mom has not stopped my art life at all. It's actually like accelerated it somehow. It's given me more inspiration and more like desire, I guess. She has brought this gift with her of like this space to be creative and just be like, a mom and a creator, which is what I actually like am. So it's cool. I think God created us and he likes it when we're creative. And um, when you're close to him, you have more of that like 
abundant creativeness in you. Like there's like an energy about it. <laughs> Through like having and raising a child and also trying to create artwork, there's just some things that tie into each other for me. Lessons from being a mom and I apply it to painting and they kind of flip flop back and forth <laughs> and knit themselves together in my life. I'm grateful to be an artist. Sometimes it is hard, but the good parts about it outweigh the hard parts about it for me. And being a mom and being an artist is things that I really deep down always really wanted. I just like didn't know that, but they are really like my core and what I want. And it's good to feel like I'm doing those things that are like me. Thank you for your camera on my face and <laughs> being here today. <laughs>